Right yeah, so it's half five past four in the morning. The last of the shit's in the ute. It's time to hit the fucking road. Right here, folks. About two and a half hours later, two and a half hours, if we can say fucking English properly, we're in Chinchilla. It's time to hit the road again. Fuck oath. How's it going, folks? It's uh, now 20 to 12. Um, we've just pulled up, we're having a bit of a lunch break, you know, having some feed. Uh, we're here at uh, Augathella now. So, yeah, we've been on the road for nearly eight hours now. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, according to Google Maps, only four and a half hours left. Fucking gonna send it. Have a good one. Folks, we've been on the road for fucking 12 hours now, we're fucking only half hour out of long reach, and we hit a bit of a fucking issue I'm not too happy with. So fucking close to our destination, and uh, oh, we found a pub. Well shot, and it's calling our name. So, uh, yeah, gonna have a beer. New stomach cooler, adds a mix. Nah, fucking decent little puppy. Yeah. This pub just turned to fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cunts. Right here, folks. So we've rocked up. We're here in Longy now. Uh, sinking a few more pe beers, having a good time. Uh, tonight, I'm staying at a mate's place before heading off to Winton tomorrow. Those of you who uh, went to high school with me might know this bloke. Uh, that's right. It's fucking Gus. Here's the man himself, Mr. Gus. Having a fucking good one. Oh, and Jimmy's still here. Fuck. Morning, folks. Uh, we uh, survived the night. It was good. Uh, we woke up this morning and we're at the uh, Qantas Museum having a fucking hurler before heading off. Jimmy, the fighter pilot, getting ready to kill some yeah, folks. Like um, probably. And got it sorted now. He's got his flips going. Having a good time. Plane looks fucking ridiculous. Lee cool. Fuck yeah. Catalina. Get amongst it. You have to crawl through that to get into the car. And look at it. So narrow. So small. So yeah, that's that's the entrance. Like that's 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 hip height. But she's a fucking cool seaplane, I'll tell you what. Here you go folks. We are all set up in winter now and uh let me give you a quick tour around the campsite and I'll tell you how long everyone took. My ute bordering over here, two uh, swags underneath the gazebo, dad's ute there, uh, camp trailer there, and another tent there. The uh, trailer took about 45 minutes to set up, tent about half an hour to set up, Jimmy's swag about 15 <laughs> minutes to set up. Oh, and Cameron? Yeah, two minutes. Rodeo ready. G'day folks, Jimmy here, and you might remember me from such stories as the way to Longreach, and the Wellshop pub, and the Qantas Museum. And Cameron's made a grave mistake here by leaving his phone at the campsite with me alone. So, suck shit assholes. How you going folks? Camo here. We're out uh, Winton for the Winton's Way Out West Festival. I tell you what, it's going to be a good time. First shots of the fucking weekend. We good to go? Let's fucking do this shit. Amongst it, 43. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think I spewed last time I drank that shit. Definitely fucking. An awesome time when you can get fireball shots at a festival. <laughs> Tom loves it. No. Yeah, you don't. Jimmy does. Yeah. The, the amount of Hawaiians getting around here make me a happy man. Unfortunately, Tom's just a fucking dipshit. Hey guys, Jimmy here. Uh, you know, I can do anything. I can brand some cattle, I can fix your fence, or oh, you got a container that needs opening? Jimmy's your man. Like, there's no, there's a reason that's called like Jim's mowing. It's because I'm Jim. I did some mowing the other and, day. And Jim, Jim knows everything. Uh, I can, do you want some maths? <laughs> I can't do it, but I have a calculator. So, you know, um, I'm a fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's because it's fucking flash on it, Jimmy. <laughs> Jesus. This is the guy that'll fix uh, everything for you. You want something flash. fixed? This Jimmy will do it. <laughs> right here, folks. I feel like I should make a Snapchat about this because I regret not doing it earlier. Uh, I met someone tonight. Someone pretty special. I met Manny. Uh, he is, for those who don't know, the bass guitarist of the Slow Hearts. And the Slow Hearts is Kip Moore's band. Now, I never got a photo with him because I thought, you know, that'd be a bit rude. I don't want to impose. Turns out, my dad and uh, Sharice, they don't feel like that. So at some point, I'll try and get that photo to you. But um, <laughs> let's just say, I'm pretty disappointed I didn't do the same. I fucked up. But I will say this, I will say this. Uh, we had a good chat. Top Knox bloke, and he uh, likes me mullet, so we're, <laughs> we're in good stead. <laughs> Hey young folks, have you ever thought to yourself, I wish I could just hear Camo's voice one day, I like, it's so soothing and shit. Today, or the Savo, is your lucky fucking day, because I'm going to be on the radio. Today, or the Savo, is your lucky fucking day, because I'm going to be on the radio. Now, to be specific, that's just ABC, Sunshine Coast, because uh, <coughs> my brother's a producer there, and they've asked me to do a recap of Winton so far. So yeah, if that's something you want to do with your life you can listen to that at about 10 to 6 or quarter to 6 or something like that but you know I'll fucking send it another thing I should mention whilst on the bus into the event with uh, all my friends yep uh, I can't swear on the radio so this will be fun okay folks most awesome thing just fucking happened in the world uh, walking along me and Jimmy having a good time and uh, I'm like hey who's that like in front of us in front of us I'm like ah, that looks like the back of Kit Moore Surely not, just walking down the street. Nah. We are uh, ummed and ahed about it for a little bit. Going, oh, is it, is it him? Is it not? I'm like, oh, fuck it. Hey, Kip. Nah, he turned around and it was fucking Kip Moore. Like, fuck yeah. So I said, fuck yeah, man. Love your shit. And he said, thanks, man. I mean, obviously, an American accent, not that fucking voice, but it. I've been told to update that it's not ABC Sunshine Coast, it's ABC Statewide. Because apparently Daniel's big time. Uh, I feel like I should clarify why I didn't get any photos or videos of uh, Kip Moore. Uh, essentially, I was fucking starstruck. Spent about oh, a minute, maybe two minutes, walking behind him, probably like three paces behind him, going, Is that him? Is that not him? Is it. Uh, 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 uh. When it finally all happened, when I called out to him, uh, I just wasn't thinking about Snapchat. And all honesty, I look back and I regret it. Because that would have been a fucking awesome Snapchat. I guess that's why hindsight's a bitch, and uh, why people get starstruck. And uh, yeah, Kip Moore starstruck me. I wasn't thinking about nothing else, but is that actually Kip Moore? And then when it actually was, I was just like, nothing else matters right now, except these fucking flies on me face. So I uh, just got off the phone with uh, Dan and that at ABC. I believe it went alright. Uh, Jimmy thinks it went alright as well. He uh, didn't swear, so that's, that's a big positive. <laughs> She just sent me a message because uh, she listened to it, saying uh, it was great. I'm still waiting to hear from Dan though, because uh, you never know, it might have been shit. But these flies are fucking bullshit. But we're at main stage now, so we're about to get it on set.
Mazda. Four. Four? Three? No. Four for you, but, three, three yeah. for us. Uh, of uh, Windway Out West Fest. Today, we've got our sleeves on because uh, we've got in the races. And, uh, and Titan's fucking around with the tie. And Jimmy's all, all fucking amongst it. Oh, pussies. That's the most horse racing I've ever watched. And we're at the bar. Number six is down. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Earth Club. Um, that's the horses coming down the track. And we're all camped in there. So, fuck yeah. Jimmy got his beard braided. Haha, <laughs> loser. Haha. <laughs> fucking idiot. Tell you what. Tell you what, Jimmy. You're fucking idiot. The man. Well, I ripped and dug out burrows on a sandy below hill. Eradicating rabbits doesn't take a lot of skill, but a boy born in. Jimmy, and once again, if you want something closed, I'm gonna close it because we got more ice. But nah, uh, I don't know what this is about, but there was there was a purpose. Uh, after a glorious hit by uh, Mr. John Williamson himself, we're heading back to camp. Uh, we're gonna sink some more piss because the axe between John Williamson and the Living End, yeah, they'll they'll probably just put us to sleep. In all honesty, and apparently Jessica Malboy's in there, so don't really give a fuck. And speaking of John Williamson, we are lined up to get a signature. First time I've ever actually done that, but it was after the show, and uh, Camo's got John Williamson's signature in the back of his phone case. So, uh, Jimmy missed out. <laughs> Camo didn't. Camo never misses out. Rum and coke. Chicken patties. Jimbo's. Tribute to Avicii, which is pretty nice, and our uh, top here. Hey, Tom. Thank you. Yeah, Jimmy. Still. Just passed me by. Yeah, I'm just savoring the mini side.
That cunt there is currently walking around the world. Right now, he can't even walk in a fucking straight line. <laughs> Gloriously drunk. Hey yeah, folks, so uh, last night, uh, Living End, finished playing at about 1.30 I think it was, and then uh, we probably left the showgrounds around 2ish by the time we got a snack and fucking walked out. Putting us in bed at about 2.30ish. Uh, anyway, uh, woke up this morning, there's a bit of a uh, noise going on around us, and uh, turns out nearly everyone has left. Um, we have got a lot of room to ourselves here now. There's a few people scattered around, but we were chock-a-blocked in. And uh, yeah, that means it's time for us to go catch up with a few of the other survivors and have us a casual little Sunday sesh. I'm fucking keen. Blokes in the shade of Coolabar Tree are about to go fucking see the Waltzing Matilda uh, Museum. If this is not a Coolabar Tree, I don't give a fuck. It worked. Yours attention the blue of Adamus. The weeks of waiting and wondering will reign for all of us. I think we're about to leave fucking Winton, but uh, stopped in the musical fence. Jimmy's playing some fucking music on a fence. Yeah, <laughs> we got fucking numbers and shit. Lots of Matilda. And uh, we got grandstands for you, Jimmy, but there's just no one here at the moment. It's fun. I think that's seen better days. Fucking here we go. Yeah, we're done with that. Time to uh, begin this two day trek home. Uh, Mitchell, here we fucking come. This morning, we left Winnie, uh, chuffed it through fucking Longy, fucking Ilfy, fucking Barky, fucking Blacky, fucking Orgy, fucking Morvy, and now we're here at Mitchie. And I tell you what, I think we've pulled up on a pretty decent free campsite here. Just gotta unroll the swags and we're good to go. Oh, look at that. Fucking lovely. Get yeah, uh... Pretty decent final morning of the trip. Lovely little spot to wake up. Time to fucking pack up the swags and hit the road. Right yeah, so we're home. Uh, unpacked, all that stuff's all done and good. Uh, Jimmy's heading back to King Roy now. But tell you what, feels good, man. Pretty keen on some uh, good toilets and showers and a fucking decent bed. Because as much as I love travelling, it's fucking good to get home. And also, in case you're wondering, those fucking ones with the cattle, there was no sound in that because I was using my fucking aux cord on this to play tunes through the car. So yeah, there's that. And uh, the reason I fucking thought I'd take that Snapchat was because it's come to my attention that there's a lot of people who have never seen cattle on the road. 
And that's that. And in case you're wondering, that wasn't some like side road or some shit. That was the Warrego Highway. That's like the main road out there. And uh, yeah, we saw at least like four different herds of cattle getting drove down the highway. So, but yeah, just so I'd tell you that in case you're wondering what the fuck was going on.